not knowing where they're going or if anything's being done. But it, it, you feel good about, you know what you're trying to do. So uh, when you ask the question, what can we do? I think, well, this, I'm feeling better about it. And uh, you joined on today and everybody seems to join on, I think, to connect with a sense of purpose for what they're doing. So uh, thanks very much to, to, to all of you. Kim, uh, you, you're at home all the time, are you not? Except at the rink more often than not, <laughs> during the day. In, in COVID times or right now? Right now, right now. What's well, your... yeah, so we just, I mean, my ice only got opened up here on Friday, so I've been on the ice since Monday. Um, but it, it's amazing, you know, when I was doing all my garage sessions, I had a eight second commute out the front door to my, and now I got to drive, you know, Toronto traffic, still not bad, but like 25 minutes to get to the rink. I'm like, man, I waste a lot of time driving to hockey rinks. Um, yeah, I'm home a lot with the kids here and it's not easy. And um, as, as uh, Dr. Lou said, you know, it's, communicating when I'm available and when I'm not available. And you guys know I wear the headphones on these calls usually because they're doing God knows what in the background. Um, and uh, it is what it is. I mean, I, you know, uh, I do feel sometimes, you know, to the conversation earlier, like it's hard to turn it off when you're self-employed. Uh, and, uh, you know, my husband says not so jokingly, like, wasn't this your month off? Like in May was my month off and he's like, but you're still doing work. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, so part of it is an escape and, and a balancing. And, I, and I, I find for me personally, I can't be with them all day and not do anything sort of quote unquote productive, but I also can't work all day and not be with them. And, and so, um, you know, we've always, we're not particularly structured. There's no structured you know, bedtimes, there's no structure. This is when this happens in our house. And uh, we seem to do all quite well in that environment. And that's been since day one, since the day the first one was born. Uh, because of my schedule and my husband's schedule, we can't have a 7 a.m. wake up and a 7 p.m. bath time. Like, it just doesn't work. So when, you know, COVID kind of took the, the normalcy or the scheduling out of everyone's life, like, it's, that wasn't a big adjustment for us. That's something we've always done. And as an entrepreneur, I've always just, you know, there's always been an ebb and a flow and, you know, n no two days ever look the same for me. So, um, yeah, it's, it, I won't lie. I mean, my office didn't used to be in my bedroom, but my bedroom's the only room in the house with a lock. So now my office is in my bedroom. So I can actually get work done without anybody coming in. And I work out in here with the door locked and I do work with the door locked and, Sometimes they're banging on the door and crying and whatever, but you know I have you have to be mindful of my own sanity because if I'm not if I'm not doing well, then I can't be useful to anybody else, right? And so you know it does sometimes feel a little bit cruel to have to slam the door and lock the door, but um, you know now that I'm going to the rink more often, I think I'll I'll find. I've already felt this week, like a, it's a different energy to come in the door and like you know, Dr. Lou was saying, kind of leave work behind because um, it's not physically in the same house. It's been really, really nice. Uh, but there's definitely been times, you know, Wally, when I was doing, you know, four or five Zoom workouts a day for six days a week for about three months there. That was a lot. I won't lie and say it was easy, but, uh, you know, I got through it and uh, it taught me a lot. But uh I am thankful that hopefully the rinks are open for good. And let's hope that we don't have to go back to being locked down here again. It's, it's been quite interesting in Toronto. So fingers crossed we're going in the right direction. Thanks, Kim. We, uh, the whole story, uh, Dr. Lou, in COVID, uh, pre-COVID, how did your life change, Dr. Lou, in your your business? Well, I mean, I used to travel to speak into the U.S. So, um, so any live conferences, you know, all that was canceled for sure. Um, 
Yeah, try to get on some of these conferences, try to do uh, Zoom meetings and that sort of thing. Eh, that didn't really work out that well either. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, it was really a good part of the traveling was no longer there. And uh, because I did a, I mean, I guess most of my clientele comes from the US anyway, so. Um, but it's it's given me time to think about what I really want to be doing and who I really want to work with. And it's definitely the elite and professional athlete. Um, so right now I'm working on my rebranding, you know, new logo, um, which I'm really happy about. Um, now I'm writing a, a new lead generation magnet about mental resilience um, in for winning big, you know, so there's and yeah, creating the podcast as well. So um, a whole bunch of things are are happening and I'm creating and I'm happy with that. 